Hello. Um, so here is uh, my advice on how to make anatomy lectures helpful because I definitely feel that the lectures are given live in the classroom, online, or if they are videos that students are watching on their own, that uh, many students are not doing what's necessary to actually make that time hearing the lectures actually helpful and lead to uh, education. So first off, you need to come to the lecture prepared. Irrelevant if it's live, recorded, whatever, you need to be prepared. The best way to do this is by reviewing the textbook. So uh, usually the chapter, uh, lectures are based on a chapter, so I would recommend before watching or attending the lecture, you should read the beginning of the chapter, the introductory section or overview section. They're called different things from book to book. Then you should also go to the end of the chapter and then read the summaries. At the, sum at the end of most chapters, I are a little summary of everything that was covered. And then I'd also recommend going through and flipping through the pages and looking at the figures and the charts because they often show up in the lecture. And then write down any questions you have. And don't worry about the, whether or not they are smart questions or stupid questions. All questions are good questions, guaranteed. The only stupid thing is not asking questions when you have questions. So always write these questions down so you can get them answered. Then, of course, during a lecture, uh, you need to do a few things. First off, avoid distractions. If you are in the classroom, then choose wisely where you sit. Uh, you may find it better to sit toward the front so that other things going on around you won't distract you. If you happen to be sitting next to someone who's noisy or likes to talk to you, then move to another place. Don't care about their feelings, just move because your education is more important than whether or not they're annoyed that you don't want to sit there and entertain them. Uh, if you're at home, uh, then, you know, try to find a time when you'll be alone without other people around in a nice quiet place where you can just focus on uh, the uh, lecture itself. And then no matter where you are, take your phone, put it on silent mode and hide it from yourself because you don't want to get distracted by that phone. The next important thing, probably the most important thing, is to take notes during the lecture. That's right. I don't care if it's handwritten or typed in the computer, you want to take notes. This is critical for a few reasons. One is that it helps keep you focused on the lecture so you're less likely to um, get distracted, to, to, to doze off, to start thinking about something else. I mean, these are things we've all done during lectures. It's what people do. But going through the process of taking notes will help prevent you from zoning out. Uh, the next, of course, is this recording important information. If the professor says these things with their mouths, then there must be important information. And also, the third important reason is it helps you start processing that information because you have to think about what it is the professor is saying and what you are actually going to write down because you don't have enough time to write down word for word what the professor is saying. So you've got, you got to sort of figure out on the fly what's important. And then, also important, ask questions. If it's alive and you're able to ask questions immediately, do that. Enter of the professor or wait to the end. Make sure those questions from earlier get answered. Um, professors really, really like it when students ask questions and other students like it as well. And if they don't, who cares? Because you're not here to entertain them or do what they want. You're here for your own education. All right, and then the after lecture, that's right, there's still more that needs to be done. Uh, I say, recommend you go take your notes and rewrite them so they're nice and clear. Sometimes people write kind of messy uh, during uh, the lecture period. So nice, clear notes that are written in a format you like. Uh, use the textbook to help you out if something's a little confusing. 
Um, you could even, if you're doing this on your computer, bring in images from the textbook um, and then write down any questions you still have and then ask those questions. You can email your professors. They, they are usually good about that. You could post and say a discussion board associated with the class. You could go to review sessions, to office hours. You could go see a tutor to get those questions answered. Again, it is important for your education and your success that you get these questions answered and answered appropriately. So don't just accept the ignorance fight the ignorance and get those questions answered. And then finally, you now have beautiful notes that you can review to help you prepare for the exam. And so you should be reviewing those notes every single day. Reading over your notes should only take it like what? Maybe half an hour a day? That's half an hour that's going to reinforce the information and make it so much easier when you put in the more uh, intense studying right before the exam. So review your notes every day. All right, that is my advice to you. So please follow it and be successful.